Let's stay in Washington. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Tuesday the Senate would vote on a trimmed down Republican coronavirus package, though it has a very slim chance of passage in the face of Democrats for more of that sweeping aid. We've been talking about this. It's like a ping pong game. Republican stimulus plan include the unemployment money, but no second stimulus checks for Americans. McConnell called the bill a targeted proposal focused on what some of the very most urgent health care, education, and economic issues are. A procedural vote for that measure could come as early as Thursday. And of course, we have to bring in who I'm calling the expert on this bill, Jesse Tenner. And Jesse, I feel like we keep talking about this, keeps going back and forth. The ping pong game, when is it going to end? Good question. It's probably not going to end with that vote, though, that's supposed to be happening tomorrow. This is really McConnell's kind of push to essentially hold Democrats to their word to see how serious they are about quickly passing a coronavirus relief bill. Um, earlier on, Democrats had already voted on their own, and it was, you know, more than $2 trillion worth of relief. This would be about $700 billion, and a lot of the funds, about half, are repurposed already from what Congress has passed. So, like you said, those $1,200 stimulus checks, even though both sides and the White House have been supportive of that, are not included. What is included is um, a $300 federal supplement for the unemployment benefits. That's something that President Trump's executive order has already said. States have been pretty slow to implement that, but that would stay until the end of the year. There are liability protections in there for schools, businesses, hospitals against coronavirus related lawsuits. That's a big push from the GOP that they were able to get in there. And then um, some other measures as well. One is even to ex further extend um, a second round of those PPP loans that went out to help small businesses. And so even though it's called a skinny bill, Democrats are calling it emaciated. And it'll be interesting to see how those votes end up playing out tomorrow if some moderate Republicans as well are on the Democratic side. And then especially with that PPP for small businesses, you know, we've been reading articles about so many small businesses falling out because they're losing this funding. Just talk about why there's such a push to get that funding, especially for small businesses right now as the pandemic continues. Yeah, so what's interesting, too, is that um, Congress already approved, you know, billions and billions of dollars for it, but there's still $130 billion left over um, that haven't gone out yet. And so, um, you know, while there's been a push from Treasury Secretary Mnuchin to um, repurpose those funds and allow them to go elsewhere, that seems what um, to be what the GOP has kind of got on board with. But Democrats have been reluctant to do that because they keep arguing that especially minority-owned small businesses didn't even receive that first round of funding. And so, yeah, when we still are seeing small businesses close, um, both sides are arguing that we need to step in, that they need to step in um, to help them. But exactly how to do that is another thing that remains up in the air. And Jesse, lastly, you know, we say very slim chances of this passing. What happens from here if it doesn't again? What happens if it doesn't happen again? It's just negotiations continue, really. Um, it sounds like that the White House would be okay, Mnuchin said, with about a $1.5 trillion plan. And so that does get a little bit closer to what Democrats were asking for compared to this plan. Um, so really, we'll kind of see how this impacts negotiations. And then with the budget coming up, too, um, there's going to be a lot of big votes happening. Perfect. Thanks so much, Jesse Tenner from Washington, D.C. for us. Thank you, Jesse.